Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AG744. And today, guys, we're doing a Copa Libertadores final preview, guys. So shout out to both teams for making the final. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get, go ahead and discuss. And also, let me know in the comments below, guys, if you guys want to see a live stream, a live reaction to this game. If you guys want, I will do it. And if you guys don't want to, that's fine. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, Atletico Monero, shout out to them. The fact they reached the final from this position, from being a part two, the highest ranked part two team, to barely struggling in the group stage, to barely doing the bare minimum against Teleris, and to beat the two favorites in this competition, both Fluminense and River Plate, is an outstanding achievement. And, and it's a commendable achievement. And they've got only one loss um, in the knockout stage, which is incredible. And I think it always a big one for me that really showed the credentials was the Fluminense. When they were able to, able to overturn the deficit against Fluminense, because remember, Fluminense were defending Copa Libertadores champions. And remember, Fluminense um, had never lost to a Brazilian team ever in the knockout stage. So they have never been eliminated. So the fact that Atletico Mineiro broke that dust and they became the first team to do so is a crap. And a huge crap to be given to Davis. Davis said the guy has been influential. He's been so clutch. He's been scoring crucial goals for them. He's been scoring some important goals for them. He's been so vital, so important, and I think you have to give so much credit to him because without him, I don't think Atletico Mineiro would be in this position. I think he is just that guy, that clutch factor. Because sure, Hulk is the bigger name than him. Obviously, Hulk is more popular, but Diverson has been that clutch guy. He's been so influential, and he's been churning up with the goods. He's scoring those crucial goals. So when you look at the expected eleven, I'm not going to go through roll through the eleven. You guys can see it for yourself. But I want to just name you guys crucial players to look out for. I think Deberson is going to be crucial in this game. I think Hulk is going to be crucial. I think Franco is going to be really crucial. And I would say at the back, the defense is going to be important. Like Leonco, Alonso, Batiglia. And Everson is a really good goalkeeper. Everson is a very good goalkeeper. And I think this is where Atletico Monero can hurt um, Botafogo, especially because I think Atletico Monero will play at the three at the back. And I think they'll play like a 3 4 3, 3 4 1 2, should I say. And I think it's going to cause a lot of issues to Botafogo. Speaking of Botafogo, Botafogo, incredible achievement. For them to make the Copa Libertadores final from being a pod four and only just recently come on the rise, because really, this is a historic team, guys. Botafogo is one of the biggest teams. Botafogo is a big team. It's not like they're a small team. They've won several amount of uh, league titles. It's just that they haven't been great in Libertadores. And the fact that Botafogo have had this resurgence the last few years, pushing for the league title, and at the current, currently the time of the recording this video, they're top of the league with 73 points. And they just beat Palmeiras a few days ago, I believe on Tuesday night, 3-1 away, which is an incredible achievement. So for Botafogo, the question is, which are you going to prioritize? Because for me, I don't think both is going to happen. And I think Botafogo have to choose which one's going to be the more realistic. Because if I'm Botafogo, I'm going for the Libertadores. Simply because we have never won the Libertadores before. Although you can make an argument that the league game might be easier because they have to play international and they have to play Sao Paulo. Although the international game is away and Sao Paulo game is at home. But we know how competitive the Brazil league is. So you can't take anything for granted. So I think for Botafogo, they got to give it their best effort. They obviously got to aim to win both. But they, we better see the win a trophy at this season. Because if they go trophyless, after putting themselves in a really good position, it's going to be heartbreaking. It's going to be very heartbreaking. And you have to give credit to what Botafogo's board have done, the amount of investment they have made, the amount of signs they made, because they, they, they really want this team to win a big trophy. And I think this is, if they can win a limited yours, it will be something historic. It will be something historic. Looking at Botafogo's 11, um, these are some of the crucial players which we going to quickly highlight through. I think Bosto is a really good center back. I've used him on my Angola FM save. He's quite amazing. Bastos is really good. I would say Alex Tellez. You guys may know him from his stint at Man United and Porto. Um, he's a familiar name. Gregor's also good. It's a former Inter Miami player. Uh, then I'm going to say um, um, Sabarino is also very good. He's one of Venezuela's most important players for them to help them to qualify for the World Cup. Diego Almeida, of course, and uh, Jesus, um, you know, the, being those important players. So for Botafogo, those, those are some of the most important players, I would say. And um, I would expect the starting to let us start. Now, we look at the uh, the tactics, how I think both teams are going to set up. I think Atletico Mineiro will be more of a counterattacking. As I said, they're going to play like a 3-4-3, like a 3-4-1-2. And I think Botafogo will play the 4-2-3-1. I think they'll play a lot of possession base. And I think Atletico Mineiro are going to try to sit back and absorb the pressure and hit them on the counterattack. I think that's what's going to be the game plan in this game. Looking at the um, 
the us uh, looking at that path so let me just move my screen a little bit so you guys can see um as you can see right here guys this is the path they both took to the final so as you can see atletico madero they came they topped their group with panero rosario central and caracas uh with 18 points only one loss um only one loss for them uh then in the round of 16 they barely scraped high against san lorenzo two on an aggregate uh, then Fluminense, they uh, won 2 1 aggregate. They completely dominate Fluminense second leg, by the way. Uh, then they destroyed River Plate 3 now. And I also forgot to mention destroying River Plate was also impressive, considering River Plate were one of the favorites to win the Copa the Drawers. And as for Botafogo, they had a very, not as straightforward as the Commander. They came second in the group. Remember, they had to come through the playoffs. Remember, they had to qualify through the playoffs. So they had to, be, they had to beat uh, Alcura, then Red Bull Bragantino. Uh, then they, had to come, they came second in the group to Junior, Cueto, and Universitario. Um, and then they beat Palmeiras, which was probably the biggest win for them in the knockout stage. So that was probably the toughest game. Then they beat Sao Paulo on penalties, and they beat Penuro quite convincingly. So, lots of focus, man. Both teams have knocked out big giants. Let's put it this way. You know, Fluminense, um, Atletico Monero, um, Fluminense River play for Atletico Monero, and for Botafogo, of Fogo, um, obviously, you got Palmeiras. So that's probably the big one. Now, it comes time for the beautiful prediction. Well, how do I think it's going to game? Well, because this game, for me, is almost like the drill game. The Europa League final we just had earlier this year for your European guys out there. Because Atletico Monero have only won one Libertadores in their history. Most of them have never won the Libertadores before in their history. I think the key thing for this game is experience. And I think experience will play a huge factor. And I have a feeling that Atletico Monero is going to win this. I think Atletico Monero is going to win this simply because I feel like they have more experience. They have the more know-how and i think botafogo i just don't trust them under pressure i feel like when botafogo is under pressure they tend to fumble i also heard recently from my Brazilian friend out to silva he told me that atletico Mineiro have already been taunting botafogo already and botafogo already having a panic um they're already like mentally collapsing so it'll be interesting to see how that's going to affect the morale in the final but i'm going to go with atletico Mineiro to what i'm hoping botafogo does win though from a neutral point of view so we can get a new limited horse winner but I'm actually thinking I'd like to win wins this one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with my analysis? Do you guys agree with my predictions? And like I said, man, best of luck to both teams out there. And may the best team win. And also let me know in the comments below, guys, if you guys want to see a live reaction. Let me know if you guys want to see it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't guys like and subscribe. Peace out.